This video is going to be over how to classify triangles. There are two ways to classify triangles. There are, um, you can classify them by their angles and you can classify them by their sides. So remember their angles are um, these things right here so we can classify them by their angles and then we can also classify them by their sides which are um, right here. Now, to classify triangles by their sides, there are a couple um, different ways you can classify them. The first way is that it's called an equilateral triangle, and that means that all sides are the same length. We have scalene triangle, which means no sides are the same length, and we have isosceles triangle, which means um, two sides are the same length. Now, the way that I um, remember this is that the word equal is in here, Okay, and this obviously equilateral means equal, so that means all sides are equal. When I think of scalene, I think of um, the nursery rhyme, Jack Spratt could eat no fat, his wife could eat no lean. I think of lean meaning um, no fat. And so because I think of no fat, I think of no sides are the same. It's kind of silly, but it's the way I remember. So maybe that will help you. So scalene means um, no fat or lean meat. No fat means no sides. And then isosceles, um, there was really no way that I could remember this. However, um, the only way I could think of it is there were two S's here for two sides, so um, that's how I remember isosceles. Now an equilateral triangle looks like this, meaning um, all three sides are the same length, and that will be notated by a tick mark like this. So if there's one tick mark on every side, that means that they are all the same length. If I had two tick marks here, two tick marks here, and one tick mark here, that means that these two sides are the same and this side is different. However, equilateral triangles have all the same sides. So all of them are the same length. Again, remember equilateral means equal. Scalene triangle, again our word lean right here means um, Lean meat means no fat, which means no sides are the same length. So here, if you look at this triangle, you can see that all the sides are different lengths. And then isosceles triangle, the only way I can think of is two S's for two sides are the same. So this side and this side and this triangle are the same because they have one tick mark and one tick mark. So two S's, two sides, isosceles has two sides the same length. Now to classify, by the, classify triangles by their angles, we have acute, we have right, and we have obtuse. And there are some ways that I like to remember um, these as well. Now acute triangles, I like to think of, um, I think of acute, Oh, acute. So I think of a cute baby. And a cute baby is very little. So acute angles are less than 90. So they are little angles. So acute means a cute little baby. So angles are less than 90. So in this case, this angle is less than 90, less than 90, less than 90. That means that all angles in the picture or in the triangle have to be less than 90. Um, right triangles are um, have one angle that's 90 degrees, so here um, as, as long as you have one angle that's 90 degrees, it's considered a right triangle. And then we have obtuse triangles. Um, obtuse triangles have one obtuse angle, so right here is the obtuse angle, and obtuse angle is over 90 degrees. Now remember if this is 90, any angle that's past that 90 degree mark is obtuse. Now when I think of obtuse, how I remember this, it's kind of silly, 
and it's probably a little mean, but this is how I remember it. I think of obtuse, meaning almost like um, obese. I think it's O-B-E, O-B-E-S-E, I think obese, and, or an obese meaning big. So I also think of this O right here for obtuse, meaning a round belly, which means, you know, big and fat. So I think of over 90 degrees, obtuse, meaning really, really big. Now, we can classify um, triangles by their angles and their sides. So that means it can be an acute equilateral, it can be an acute um, scalene, or it can be an acute isosceles. So, or it can be a right equilateral, obtuse, scalene. So we can, we're going to use both the angles and the sides to classify our triangles. Now, we're going to classify this triangle. This triangle has a 90 degree angle, so that means it's a right triangle. Okay, and look at its sides. We have this side, this side, and this side. Well, it kind of looks like these two sides are the same, and this side is different. So this is in a, a right isosceles. In this picture, we have an obtuse angle here. And then we have two sides are the same, so that's isosceles. So we have an obtuse isosceles triangle. This triangle, it looks like these two sides are the same. And look at these little tiny angles. All of them are less than 90, so they are acute. And two sides are the same, so acute isosceles. In this, in this triangle, it looks like this one, this one, and this one are all the same. And all of these angles are less than 90, so our angles are acute. And all sides are the same. So it is an acute equilateral. Hopefully this has helped you understand how to classify angles. Remember you need to classify um, triangles by their angles and their sides. If you still need help, make sure you look back through the lesson or contact your teacher.